everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really fun and very sweet looking TP cards. Um, I've seen these around for a long time and I saw a tutorial from Sari Henneman, I think it is. I will link her one below. Hers was from 10 years ago, so yeah, they've been around a long time. Really, really fun to make. They fold flat to just have a little Velcro fastening on the back there. It all folds flat and this size that I've made will fit into a 5 by 7 envelope. And then I've got this one here, which is... A, this will fit into a six by four envelope. Obviously, if you've got things overhanging, um, actually I'll explain to you, if you do it on that side, then it would overflow into that section there. But again, if you had that, for me, if I had that rosette more on this side here, then you can see how it would fit into your four by six. So you just have to play around with your design and stuff, but they're really fun. You've got room to write your message on the back. So I have done a Christmas version. You are seeing a Christmas card here right now. I did say during the Facebook Live when I actually made these that I would be doing some Christmas cards. So I just want to get a bit organized and make sure I'm not rushing in December to make cards. So this is the first one. I can't believe I've made it, but there you have it. And then I've got this one here. So this is using paper posies. And this is the size I think I will do more often. I like this larger size and again you've got your room there to just stamp your message and then again it will all fold flat and that one there was using the Dovecraft Secret Garden okay really nice so very very easy to do we'll get straight into it so I used the stamp set for that one there it isn't available anymore because I got it in sale um, just after Christmas but it was by Simply Made Crafts you might be able to find someone selling it maybe on eBay you never know it might pop up but that's the one I used there so for today's I'm using the Dovecraft Make-A-Wish collection so I have gone ahead and pulled out a few little embellishments I've made my rosette already because I have got rosettes on, the, on all three of them actually and I've just made them with the matching pattern papers and this is from a strip of one inch by 12 inch because I used the larger paper there but I've also got rosettes um, I think I've got a playlist I'll link it up here if you've never made one before but they're very easy um, I've got my sentiment there I've got some puffy stickers I might add those in as well and that was the five by seven envelope just so you can see there as well how it will fit in that's just a shop brought five by seven but if you want to I mean there is dimension on mine so I will probably make maybe some box envelopes for them and again I'll link them up throughout this video in case you want to make one so what you need is three pieces of any size square that you want really and um, people have already been sharing them on the mixed up crafters Facebook group and they're playing around and trying new sizes and you could probably do a really dinky one I mentioned that during the live but I'm going to show you the larger one and that's using three pieces of five by five this one here was four by four, three pieces of four by four. And I will put the measurements for that one in my blog because I'm sure there are, you know, people watching that would like to do a smaller version. I know different parts of the world, you know, the postal rules are different and smaller cards are, you know, preferred. So, but for today we're doing five by five. So you want three pieces of five by five and then you're going to score pop it on the diagonal and you're going to score from point to point. So I'm using my six inch score line there as my marker and you just want to score right through the middle and do that on all of the pieces okay so that's all the scoring done next we're going to fold and burnish you just want to make sure that you get a really nice kind of fold there you want to make sure it meets from point to point because they you know they, these become the feet and the top of the card so you know none of this is hidden so I'm just going to, again, just kind of start it off myself and then just burnish it. Okay, like so. Then what you want to do is you want to have one of them open in a, the diamond orientation. And then these two you're going to stick down in the square orientation over the top. So you see these stay in their square, like so. And that bottom one will stay as a diamond. What I find easiest to do is stick this behind here. I'm going to add the glue and then I like to wrap it around when this under piece, this piece here is, you know, like the glue's drying and I just think you get a really nice kind of finish when you wrap that around. So I'm going to pop it like so and I'm just going to draw, you can just hold your, your, your finger there really if you want, but I'm just going to put a little pencil mark there. Now I want to add glue all in that section there and I'm using the Kalau because I always do, but you know, it just um, it's great for your cards because it keeps them all nice and strong. So I'm just going to pop my glue all in this section here. Now also, I should mention, if you want to add your mats and layers now, then I would add them all on 
these sides here and I'm going to give you the measurements for them in a moment but you might want to put them on before you put it together but I actually prefer the decoration once it's together so it's entirely up to you but you may want to so there I'm just sticking that down and I'm just going to wrap that around and you'll see you get a really nice point there and this will all become the inside and this is all what you're going to see so you can imagine if you'd already put your mats and layers down here you already have this piece covered but on these ones here I've done these pieces with a separate little triangle mat and I prefer that but you may want to decorate it and you may also do this in patterned cardstock you know a lot of the paper pads you know you know like 200 plus you could easily make it from the pattern paper and then I'm going to do the same on this side so I'm just going to lay that one like so and I'm just going to pop a little pencil mark just there and again I know I can add my glue within this section Now also you may want to do mats and layers on the inside and you know have that as an area for you to have your message because the card obviously will arrive flat like so and there's no reason why you can't do anything on the inside here as well but I'm going to keep my message on the outside. So again that's that one and just fold it over so you've just got that nice point and also that way you know everything is going to lie flat as well. Okay, and now that one is going to go over there and you instantly get that TP look and I think it's really, really cool. Okay, so for the mats and layers, so I've only done mats on those ones and I did that in the live, but I want to show you mats and layers in the video because you can then decide what you want to do. So I'm going to do a matte layer in the holographic and then I'm going to do the pattern layer using this lovely, kind of like a bit of a polka dot, I guess. So this one here, let me just grab my trimmer. So this one here is four and five eighths of an inch squared. Okay, and then you want to pop it in your trimmer or whatever it is you're using, point to point on the blade and just cut. Okay, so I'm going to have one in this section here, like so. You get that nice border. And then I'll have another one around that side and then the other one is going to be in white. So I only need one of those squares, but if you want to do all three, then you'll need to have um, an, you know, another piece, but you'll have one half left over. But if you're going to make a batch of these, then you know, keep all those. Then I've got this piece, which is again that same, oh no, I went smaller. Oh, so I do need another piece, hold on. I am going to have one extra. So I will have one extra, but I'll, like I said, I'll keep that because I know I'll definitely be making some more of these because I love them. Then this is going to be my side where I'm going to stamp my message. So I've got a piece of white card here and this is the same as this pattern paper here. And this is four and a quarter squared. And again, I'm just going to pop it in here like so. I'll keep that one for that for another card, but that will now sit over the top of there. And that's going to be the panel for me to write my message. But again, I've got, um, I don't need two of them. I think I've done it the wrong way around. I needed two holographic, um, you know, and uh, not two pattern, but it's fine. So I'm going to, this one here is the same. So it's four and a quarter, okay, squared. Try maybe, you don't, yeah, you don't really want something that's got too much of a directional pattern on it because obviously things like this here, you see the stripe goes that way and then it goes that way. I didn't mind with that because I, I think it works. But if you've got anything with writing and things like that, it might look a bit odd. So just, yeah, maybe think about that. But now I've got two pieces there because I've only got, we're only working with three sides. So I've got that side for my sentiment and then these two sides will have pattern paper. So that's that one. And then I've got these here. So I will need, in fact, I'm going to give you the measurements for them in a minute because I think I might, that might be the mat layer size. So we'll, we'll work on that in a second. So what I'm going to do first of all, now you may also want to cut, I said there's three sides because there's three kind of um, exposed sides, but there are four with this one here. You may want to cover that if you want to give it some strength and stuff. I might, while well, I've got it here actually, I guess I could. Yeah, maybe I'll pop that one in and that one just for the sake of it, really. So you can cover all four sides if you've got leftovers like me and maybe you are just making one card. So I'm going to stick all of those sides down, but I'll talk you through also which one to maybe have as your front if you want to make sure it will fit into a five by seven envelope. 
because it's something I've only really just noticed whilst I was folding them flat for this video. And I think if you actually stick to a, you know, a particular side, then you'll always be able to fit it into an envelope. So I'm just gonna stick all these down and then explain that so it makes a bit more sense. Okay, so now deciding on what you want to be the front and the sides and stuff. So for this one here, I have stuck all of my front detail on the, you know, the left hand square here in this bottom kind of corner. But now when I fold that flat, this overhangs, which means I'm going to have to make a bigger envelope. But on this one here, I have done the front section on the bottom left of that right hand square. And I think that's the better way to do it because when you fold it flat, this overhang from the rosette fills, you know, sits within this section. So apart from that little bit of the flag there, that will still go into an envelope, but that will fit in my five by seven envelope. And I didn't actually take any notice of that beforehand. So I'm gonna make sure that whenever I decorate these, I always do it within this triangle here. And that way I think you will be able to always kind of fit it in a, in a um, you know, a normal envelope. So it's just something to look at because it's, I didn't really take, like I said, any notice beforehand, but I am going to work within this one here. So I'm gonna have pattern piece there and then a pattern piece there. And then I'm gonna have the white pieces there and there, like so. Okay, so I'm gonna get them stuck down. Okay, so I've stuck all of that down. Now I've got a piece of one and three quarters squared in the holographic, and again, I'm just gonna cut that from point to point, okay? And one's gonna go in there, and one's gonna go in that side. And then I've got this piece here, which is one and three eighths of an inch squared, and again, I'm just gonna cut that like so, and they're gonna go over the top. All right, so I'm gonna get them stuck down as well. Okay, so that's that all stuck down. So bearing in mind I want this one to be the front, I'm gonna bring around, it doesn't matter whether you wanna have that one over the top or that one over the top. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one over the top actually if it's gonna be here, because then you get that nice kind of, um, you know, the cardstock just continues round rather than having that, you know, at the front. So I am gonna put that one over this one here. I've got my Velcro dots. These are the 16 mil. So I'm going to pop it behind. So we're working on that one on the front, it's behind that one there, okay? And then bring it right over here and just stick that one down. And then you can just open it up. And the cloud glue's just made these all so t like strong now. It's wonderful, really do like making these. Okay, so now I'm gonna decorate. So I am gonna open it up again, <laughs> just so you can see. But I've got here this really nice um, rosette. Some of these I've fussy cut, and what I've done is I've fussy cut, I've, well I've actually roughly cut first of all the image from the paper pad, then I've stuck it with this here, which I find is really good, and it's the Taser Easy Stick, onto my 300 GSM cardstock, and then when it's dry, I cut around it, and you actually end up with a really nice, it's almost like a, an ephemera, you know, it's a nice embellishment to work with, rather than just a, you know, a, I guess a flimsy piece of paper. So that's what I've done on all of these, so they all match, and I can just build up, you know, a little scene. These are actually the wooden embellishments that you can buy with the collection. So it's the birthday presents there and then the um, ice cream sundae. And then I've also, like I said, I've got the puppy stickers here. You know, I've got some little ice creams and stars, which I may well add in. And then I'm probably gonna pull in the happy birthday there, or I may use like the party time or something. But I'm gonna pop it all on high speed now. I'm gonna use my hot glue gun because um, I, I like to use that when I'm building up something like this, because they're all kind of, lots of elements are stuck on top of each other. And then I'll be back when it's all finished.
there is the finished card. I love it. I've got the paper cake there and then I've got the rosette. I've got the balloons that I fussy cut, the hat, the sundae, the wooden one, the wooden gifts and then I've put a puffy sticker star and then that's that topper from the um, pack that I showed you. And then like I said you've got all that space to be able to write your message. You could maybe put a gift card in here somehow, maybe if you've done a slightly larger size. You know there's a lot of scope to, to do more with it. I think they're wonderful cards. As you can see I ignored the advice that I gave about trying to maybe stick with your overhang on this side so I will just make I've got the 12 by 12 paper pad so I will end up making a custom envelope so I'll need to make it a little bit bigger um yeah so it's you know just play around with it it's entirely up to you but I'll just show you again that's that one and then you've got the secret garden collection lovely and I've also used some of the this is the nouveau glow drops or glow dot yeah glow drops you can see there really really nice just a little bit more texture you know dimension I love all of this and again I've used them in there they're the actual crystal drops and then that's the wooden um, little embellishment there and then again the Christmas card I think it's just adorable and I've used on this one this is the self-adhesive glitter card by Dovecraft again I'll link everything if I can in the description box below but I think they're wonderful really quick to make I just love that you can really kind of go to town with all the embellishments and just make them these really fun cards so I hope you've enjoyed it if you would like to you know and um, be involved with the Facebook live craft alongs that I do I do them three days a week um, if you head over to mixed up crafters um, no it's actually it's mixed up craft I'll share the link below you don't have to craft along you might just want to sit and watch or just maybe chat with other people it's a type tube it's a really really nice group and lots of people do enjoy the craft alongs so yeah until next time thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon bye